Sarah from The Unprofessional, and I'm going to show you how to upholster an IKEA bed frame, a headboard specifically, uh, with a roll of canvas cotton webbing. Uh, so first, let's take a look at this bed frame. I bought the cheapest bed frame I could find from IKEA and realized very quickly that it was a bad idea. Uh, this is a really dumb design for a child, so that is why we're going to fix this. Uh, first of all, when we're reading books, pillows go right through, and this is not comfortable to lay on. Second of all, little tiny child heads have a way of going right in here in the middle of the night and up and bang. So, we're going to take this cotton webbing and we are going to kind of weave a crisscross pattern. Uh, and we are going to raise this situation. Daddy? So all you need for tools is the roll cotton webbing, a pair of scissors, and a staple gun. All right, let's get to work. Okay, so I've pre-cut a few strips. And I'm going to show you just how I'm going to staple these and how I am going to line them up. So, uh, Ruben, you think this space is good right here? Yeah. You like that? Okay, so let's do it just like that. All right, so I'm going to hold it, just take my staple gun, and just like that. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing all the way down, and then I'm going to do it down this way. But when I do it down this way, uh, I'm going to weave between. So what it's going to look like, uh, I would weave all the way in between. Imagine that these continue down. And then I'm going to staple here, and same thing across here. There are a few things I realized as I was doing this project. One is that you don't need to pre-cut the strips. It's a lot better if you keep the canvas on the roll, staple, and then just cut at the edge of the bed frame. Another thing I recommend is starting from the bottom. So staple two or three staples in the bottom, pull the canvas over the top, and then use your body weight to really pull the canvas tight, and then put two or three more staples in the top. Something else I recommend is reinforcing the top and the bottom board with a screw. That way if you pull the canvas webbing tight, you don't have to worry about those boards bending or rotating. If you want to save yourself some canvas, you really don't have to weave all the way to the bottom because the mattress is going to cover up that part anyways. It's plenty sturdy as it is. And here's a look at the final product. I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching. This is Lara from The Unprofessional.